hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson so today i'm going to show you how to create custom exception in apex so if you don't know about the exceptions so you can watch my previous video about the types of exception how to handle it everything i already covered so you can go ahead and you can watch right so let's get it started without any further delay and one more thing please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new and always uh, I put it all new contents in Salesforce so that's why you can watch my video until end and uh, let's get it started so now I just logged in into my Salesforce org so now you can see this is the Salesforce org and uh, if you want to create your own custom exception in Salesforce using Apex so first of all we have to do one thing so before creating our own custom exception so first of all we need to know or please keep in your mind some few points so let's say uh, to create your custom exception class I often create custom exception if there is a more information that I need to convey instead of just an error message so you can use this custom exception class right so extend the built-in exception class so you know very well or if you don't know so I will explain to you so exception is the parent class of, of the all kind of exceptions right so please keep in your mind this is an interview question as well right so make sure your class name and with the word exception suppose you want to create any kind of class let's say ABC so and with ABC exception like that let's say account class so account exception something like that so and with exception keyword such as a my exception or purchase exception if you have so all exception class extended the system defined based class exception and therefore so it's automatic inherit using extend keyword so we can inherit our exception class into our custom class so let me show you with practical so under this gear icon just click on this developer console so now just I open the developer console so first of all we have to create our own custom exception right so how to create the custom exception let me explain to you first of all so first of all we have to create one class and it can be anything as you want so uh, let me show you that one here let's say account exception if you want so new you want to create any kind of class so just follow this step file new and apex class now let's say account exception so always and the class name with exception if you want to create your custom exception so please keep in your mind so exception like that right so click on this ok button and now you can see it's a automatic extend the exception class because of this keyword if you want to create another class without this one so it's not automatic comes here please observe in your case so I already observed these things so once you use this exception keyword after your class name it's automatic inherit your parent class that is called exception class here right so that is the uh, beauty of this edit apex programming so once you create this one let me shape this class and uh, here you have to do one thing just let me create another class new apex class and this is a let's say acc utility class utility acc utility just create this class now you can see this is a simple class right and here you can see this is a exception class inherit with base class that is called exception and this is a simple normal class it's normal class let me create one method or let's say uh, here let me create one method and it's a static method so public static void and the main method suppose that this one main method right so under this main method you have to write your logic let's say I want to create one another method that can be handle the insert of the account record so how to write this method here so let me explain to you so now after this method you have to create another method let's say public static void insert 
account something like that right under this method we have to create the instance of this account object acc equals to new account so this one this is the way to create the instance and after that you have to do one thing just once you create the instance and just try to insert acc because of it will be throwing some error because of name is a required field under the account object so i am not using name field here so it's definitely through some um, error right so now how to handle it let me explain to you so once you give this kind of code just wrap this code inside your try block like this and uh, after that you have to use your catch block under this catch you know very well this uh, insert is the dml operation so this is the dml exception it will be come like as a dml so you have to use like dml exception so if you don't know about this exception you can wa watch my previous video for more uh, more information about this one so dml exception de and after that let me format it like this and here we can use our custom class here so how to do that let me show you here so if you want to use our custom exception class so always use this through keyword t h r o w throw new and this keyword having like this class that is called account exception so let me copy this name paste it here like this and under this one you have to write your custom message as you want so based on the requirement we can uh, show this message right so let's say uh, here let me add some message account can not not be created the because of because the required field name is missing something like that meaningful you can give any kind of messing message for in my case i am using this message so you can use any message as you want after that you have to give like de and this de having lots of classes as you know very well so once you have this one let me show you one thing for you so i want to call this method that is called insert account right insert account so under this insert account i want to call this method inside this method that is called main method so let's say this one so if you don't know about how to call this one method to another method i already created live uh, like object oriented programming under uh, apex so you can watch my playlist so you can uh, you will be get to know about these things right so how to call one method to another method like that and how, what is the class object what is the instance reference variable everything i already covered right so once you have this one now let me wrap this one under the try once you wrap this one try after that you have to use like catch under this catch we have to use that kind of exception if you have like say acc exception because it's a new exception right so let me copy this class name this is a new uh, class this custom class or we can say the custom exception class after that like a c e or a e right and after that you can throw this message based on your or you can print this message based on your requirement so how to do that let me show you so once you've done it now let me print like system.debug and here let's say message i want to print the message first of all plus a e dot and get message because this is the predefined method under the exception class that's why you can use anywhere as you want under this one once you've done it now let me print another system.debug for you know like cause so what is the reason of this exception so you can handle it under this ae dot and we have another that is called get cause cause method and here let me add another 
system dot debug and this is the line number which line number we have some error so you can find out like this and here a e dot get line number so this is the method under the exception class so let me save it this class and let's see what happened now you can see successfully saved there is a no error here and this is our custom class I'm using this custom exception class under ACC utility class here you can see in the last this is the custom message and under this message we have this kind of uh, like uh, methods so based on the requirement you can change it because uh, my purpose on this video to give you the clarify about the custom exception how to create that so based on your requirement or based on your need you can do anything right so first of all you have to know about the basic so once you know this basic so you can build any kind of exception right so here once you've done it now let me execute this one and let's see what happened so how to execute let me show you so uh, just under the debug just open the anonymous window because I want to call this anonymous uh, this method here so how to call that so this is a static method so we can call this static method with the help of class name so in my case this is my class name and this is the method name so just paste it here like this and just click on this execute button so now you can see execution successfully done click on this debug only now you can see message account cannot be created because the required field name is missing this is the custom message coming from our custom account exception class and this is a causing like system dot dml exception so here you can see required field missing name and this is the line number 14 so let me show you and let uh, i will explain it 24 lines so here you can see that 24 lines so it's having some error because of insertion so this is the insertion fail here right so you can check each and everything here that's why you can see this one right so under here uh, this one exception class so we are using here and here like so based on your need so you can use anywhere as you want so guys i hope you learn something new if you have any query question regarding this or any kind of like query so you can ask me in the comment section i will give you the answer of your question as soon as possible so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates so till then bye bye take care see ya